what's going on YouTube Q back here again with another video for you in today's video I'm here with the 2023 Maserati Gricala Trofeo now Trofeo that means it's something special and I'm about to get into that in just a minute but a huge shout out to Maserati for loaning me this for the week so I can give you all this review right here so this is Maserati's entry-level SUV so it's smaller than the Levante so this right here will be the size of like a BMW X3 Mercedes GLC Alfa Romeo Stelvio but this is Mas Maserati's twist on it with the Italian flair to the sport SUV and this thing has been a pleasure to drive so nice so so nice and this SUV isn't just a regular SUV it has the heart of a champion and by heart of a champion I mean we got a supercar engine up under the hood we got the heart from the MC20 so if you don't know that's Maserati's new supercar before we begin, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, let's jump into it. Shout out to the men of culture, got race car friends, Blueprint 1 Elite, Hunter Gay Nate, go check out their channels on the feature section of mine. The heart of the beast, up under the hood, we have a twin turbo, 3 liter, 523 horsepower, 457 pound feet of torque. And this thing roars and it's also married to an eight speed transmission with all wheel drive so this thing can launch and then it goes from zero to 60 in 3.6 seconds but man it's a masterpiece up under here looks good got the strut bracing here all stock maserati the trident right in the middle powered by natuno i don't know who that is but they working magic with that the base price of the maserati gracala is $105,500. But with this one, we got some options on here. Notice the plank, it's like a midnight blue and you can look at certain areas, it kind of looks black as well. So that's called Blue Nobile, that's gonna be $2,700. We also have a technology package for $1,000 and the premium plus package for $4,200. And I'll go over those in just a moment. We also have these 21 inch Pegaso Ford staggered summer tires on here. So look at that, we're on 21 straight from the factory. And the front tires are 255 4021s, and the rear we had 295 35s. You see those big rotors and brakes back there, and then they're also drilled as well. So you know this is meant for the track. This is a sports car disguised as an SUV. And man, I am so impressed with this. Got the stopping power so we can go and stop. And then the spacious trunk back here, we also have these cargo floor rails. And these are adjustable as well. Slide it up. See, whatever you're liking is. I'm not sure what I would put back here, but that's their $400. And we also have a surround view camera. So basically 360 degree cameras. So which you can see wherever you're parking. So you're going to see the cameras up under the side mirrors and the rear. So you can get a total view around there. And that's going to bring the total price to this vehicle to $119,000. Looking at the rear, this car just comes with so much extra. We got the quad tip exhaust. Sounds fantastic. Carbon fiber diffuser got some nice bits of carbon fiber around here this car is so well designed and this is going to be Maserati's new design language moving forward starting with this in the MC20 we also get new keys as well so get used to it and also we got these side vents here that's kind of Maserati staple Buick tried to steal it but Buick those aren't even functional anymore these days we got your fail on the side to let you know we're working with something special and then it's also outlined in red nice little touch subtle and also we have the optional headlights i believe it's adaptive headlights because once you turn it you can see a lot of light illuminated to the sides very useful when i pull into the driveway and in the tight spaces at my house super useful at nighttime great functionality to it we also got a carbon fiber splitter up front too it's very subtle and this car has all the safety features you would want you got four collision adaptive cruise and just every modern feature that you could ever want is on this car. There is an additional package on here that this one doesn't have that would bring the total up to around 122,000, but I'll go over that in just a moment. You can see a modified Trident, so slightly different from what we're used to seeing. 
and then the key just four buttons on here got the lock button at the top with the trident unlock open the trunk and the panic button on the back we got the big trident on here updated looking good also notice from the factory we got a slight blue tint to the windshield which looks really good so it gives you privacy and from the inside looking out it looks clear let's hop into the rear seats and these doors are different like it's not a traditional handle it's like you put your hand up under here and pull forward it's like an electronic pad and it it uh, unlocks it and then you just kind of pull it to you so the back is going to be just as nice as the front soft touch everything dry carbon we got leather touch soft touch everything red stitching going all throughout the cabin and then we can also fold the seats from back here or in the trunk got more stitching back here we got the trident embossed in the seat more red stitching got the chevron coming down it so let me hop into the back seat get my head under extremely spacious back here and this is a compact suv so i probably got like four inches of knee room in front of me and then it, you can see in the seats it indents it so you get even more space cup holders in the middle that can be folded to be an extra middle seat panoramic sunroof looking lovely so we have heated seats in the rear and turn that off and on we got auto i have it synced to be with the front temperature and this whole gauge back here is digital you'll notice a trend once i move to the front so heated on the the passenger and the driver's side in the rear you can choose whatever settings you want to put on the floor up high it's all touchscreen back here got a couple of vents and then we got a USB A and USB C down here. As you can see, my daughter was charging her device back here. So much space back here. I think this might be the most space in any of these compact SUVs. Lots of headroom back here. It got about two or three inches above me, and I'm six feet tall. So let's move up to the front seat. Coming up to the front. Same thing, hand under, pull it towards you, door opens up. And then this is going to be our button to let us out the car. So we're going to tap that in, and it's going to release it. You kind of push it forward all at the same time. Should the battery die? We got a normal release. You just pull that up and it'll unlock the door for us. So the driver's seat. These seats are immaculate. Tried in embossed in there. We have red stitching, Chevron coming down. These are heated and ventilated. Amazing bolster. And these seats are so comfortable. And then we also have 14-way adjustments. Got lumbar support, tilt, slide forwards and backwards. And then we also have a, I'm shocked that we have a manual thigh support down here. So you can pull this lever and adjust your thigh setting on there. Shock that's not electronic. Nice center storage, well padded, felt lined everything in here. It's also gonna be the same. Every storage area is gonna be felt lined. Even the side pocket where you can hold a bottle, felt lined. Glove compartment, felt lined. Nice materials on the dash. They use some really high quality materials in here. So we got stitching across the dashboard. We got the iconic Maserati clock, which is now electronic but you can also customize it through this fully digital. We have the upper half for like our audio settings and below for things like your, your HVAC controls and a couple other different settings. So if I want to change the clock, I go to the clock menu down here and then I can change it to the classic Maserati. You got three options for the clock and put it to design where I get that clock up here. Classic Maserati, and then with sport. And that can also be changed to a compass. It can be changed to the pedal so we can put how much brake force that we had and how much power that we're adding and also a G, a G meter. So that is pretty cool. It has so many functions on this lower half of the screen. You can adjust your seats. So we got the three memory settings on here for the driver. You can also adjust the passenger seat in here as well. And then you can also, this is the lateral bolster on here is amazing. I have never felt seats that hold you in so well. And it's adjustable as well. And you can also, in tandem, use the side controls on the seat. And then it changes back to your HVAC controls. You can sync it, auto, whatnot. You gotta have your heated seats, heated steering wheel. You can change it to ventilated seats, but it's too cold outside for that. And the passenger, they can have their own side. You can adjust the ride height on here. Each drive mode has a different drive height. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Change the ambient lighting to warm, cool, and neutral. It's going to be like basically a yellow, white, and slightly bluish hint to it. Or you can turn it off. We got the rear seats in here. This is going to come in handy for those with kids because you're going to want to sync it to the driver. Because my kids, every time they come in here, they're messing with the, the rear seats and the, the vent is always high. They like turning the heat on all the way high. So now I don't want to hear the fan, so I just sync it to the driver or turn it off. I mentioned the Tech Assist package earlier. That's going to give you a wireless charger down below. 
and also a heads up display which I don't know if you can see or not right now and then the premium plus package is going to give you those ventilated seats the heated seats the heated steering wheel the heated windshield washer nozzles and this amazing sound system the Sonus Faber system is going to give you 21 speakers and I can tell you it sounds fantastic and these this mesh grill on here this is real metal so I wouldn't rub my fingers across there too hard because that is sharp it's real metal so it's a lot of carbon around here and they call it 3d carbon it's basically just dry carbon fiber no gloss just the actual fibers and it goes around the whole cabin up front in the rear across the dash everywhere you're gonna have so many settings in this infotainment screen so it's highly customizable this is just what the car was on when I got it you can do your maps your your oil temp turbos you can just add widgets here you can put whatever you're playing so many customizable options there you can also go to the vehicle settings here and there's so many things you can adjust the lights the door locks and horns key off options so you want the music to play seat comfort uh, easy exit audio and man this audio I had to uh, get my audio settings so I didn't love it at first I actually didn't like it it sounds good at like 75 percent but I had to turn the mid-range down because it sounds a little bit muffled so I had to actually turn it negative because I like my bass heavy and my treble high but on this vehicle it sounds crystal clear at like 60% with this setting now at 60% volume so it sounds amazing especially up high and it doesn't get distorted at all crystal clear but down low it can use a little bit better clarity to it you do have some unique vents in here you can change the direction as you would in a traditional vehicle but you can also close it by rotating this dial. You can see the door is closed behind it. Let's take the Gricala Trafail for a spin. As you can tell, once the doors are locked, and you do that by pressing on, on these three little indentations down here to lock the doors. So unlock it, pull it towards you, and once you start up the vehicle, the mirrors will unfold. And this is like Ferrari-esque in here. So you know Maserati, Fiat, Ferrari, Stellantis, the whole ordeal, they're all linked in together. So I'm going to start it off. I'm going to start it off because this is going to be definitely a lot of Ferrari up in here. As you can tell, we got the paddle shifters in here, which is a sweet touch, especially for a truck. So start it up. Mirrors unfold. There we go. Buckle up for safety. So let me let y'all hear this audio real quick, what I mean. Down low, it's a little bit muddy. Almost 50% sounds better. And then there's no buttons here, everything is capacitive. So the louder it gets, the better the audio quality is. And uh, as I just mentioned, like everything in here is capacitive. Like there's no buttons at all on this whole infotainment screen. Everything is touch. You want to turn it off. There's an off button. Hazard lights there. And uh, the volume up and down. You slide your finger over there. HVAC controls. I already went through that. Your drive mode selector. That's going to be this wheel right here. So I'm going to put it in comfort mode for right now because I'm going to increase it as we go. And I haven't driven in Corsa yet just because the weather hasn't been as good. And this is an example of me opening the door, click the button in, push it out, bada bing, bada boom. Big paddle shifters. They do not turn with the steering wheel. So this is race car inspired. They just stay there the whole time. They're static. And it also makes it a little bit challenging to uh, touch the, the turn signal and the wiper controls because they're like flush with the, the paddle shifters. So I do wish they either protruded a little more or at least were at a different angle, not like right behind it. I like we do have a couple buttons the prindle or park reverse neutral drive so right now we're in park the drive is over there we're going to do manual shifting mode we press it again it goes in m mode but i'm going to keep it in d right now let's test it out in comfort mode see how it rides so if you go to the menu if you don't know what each mode does you can find that out in this drive mode explorer so it's a really nice feature to have so if you can go off-road not sure who would really go off-road in this vehicle but you can you got the 21 inch wheels on here it's not really meant for that but the suspension is set for it you got and then we do have like a graph of which you got your efficiency and the electronic controls responsiveness stiffness and acceleration so as you pro progress the course of mode it's going to get more and more it's going to get less efficient and more performance 
so that's what you want actually i spent a lot of time driving in gt mode i feel like it's a good balance so it'll be more like normal mode sport mode i got to test it out a couple times just so i can hear that exhaust and it sounds lovely but corsa mode maybe we'll do a little bit of that so i still haven't tested it out you can see it just went all the way up to the max for everything performance wise but like i said we're going to stay in uh just comfort mode for now and increase it because i want to see what it's like riding down these bumpy roads big old wheels so i don't even want to ride over all these bumps the worst of it so what i feel about this suspension even in comfort mode it is very rough like it is a very firm suspension i don't even know why it's called comfort mode too firm to my liking for a, a luxury vehicle this is more sport than luxury and then the steering i'm not crazy about the steering feel feels kind of vague and um you know i just don't love it it's just not really communicative like it's even in comfort mode it's kind of heavy so like steering feels kind of fake it's not really i, I don't prefer it's not a whole lot of steering wheel steering feel to it i'll just say that but you feel everything in the suspension i'll tell you that right here horrible now i'll tell you one thing that's amazing in here the sound deadening you can't hear anything on the outside it really isolates you from the outside noise because i was riding in puddles and i didn't even know it i'm seeing cars in front of me driving through these rain puddles and i'm like am i driving through those same puddles you can't really hear it like raindrops the sound deadening here is amazing and this cluster in front of me is also highly customizable as well you can uh, change it to show just your maps. You can do your lane keep assist here. It does have autonomous driving features, miles per gallon. And you can even customize the way it comes on here. Whoops. So you can change the layout. I like it in Evolve because I feel it's more modern. But you can go to Relax where it just widens the whole screen to this view. But I'll just keep it on Evolve for now. And then there's Classic where it has the dials on the left and right also change i got a g meter up there now uh you can customize it to a couple things mpgs and whatnot uh i'll just keep it on my current playing song so now we're about to go on some curves we're going to crank it up to sport mode so i want to see how it really handles once you get it to its handling limits because this is like a sports car and suv guys so it's so firm and uh yeah it's gonna be more like a sports car than a sports suv y'all hear that exhaust <laughs> thing sounds great so efficiency the first couple days i was starting off in like comfort and gt i was averaging 17 miles per gallon but the more i drove the less efficient it became so now i'm at like 14.8 and that does come with a lot of idling so I'll, I'll say it's like 15 and a half overall looking up to the ceiling this is where you're going to have your panoramic sunroof shade you can open the roof up if you want to that slides and then it's also the trunk release up there some cars don't even have trunk releases but this does suspension is so tight handles just like a car <laughs> i don't even feel body roll and that's not even in the most extreme modes it's not even coarser Woo! <laughs> came about that corner and all wheel drive grips up out of there all right let's turn around and go back the other way handling here is amazing i haven't driven an suv to have this kind of handling prowess to it this is top notch This is a great alternative to the Germans. Got that Italian flair to it. Mm. <laughs> Exhaust sounds fantastic too. I'm assuming this is a Ferrari derived V6. Really shocked about the body roll or the lack thereof. This is over two tons. And we don't have any body roll in it. That's amazing. 
Alright, got it in manual mode. Wanna hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Shifts really quick downshift. Fantastic, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Let me put that back down to comfort mode. That's too harsh up on these bumpy roads. My goodness. <laughs> oh, yeah, so we get a little bit of rolling comfort mode, so it loosens up, but it's still really firm. Like, they need to uh, make that a little bit more plush than my life. feels amazing driving with these paddle shifters real heavy metal it is amazing all right and for the first time let me go to Corsa mode and there's also if you press this button like I'm in sport mode now you can press the button and put the suspension in sport mode so we'll lower it even more so this suspension has a lot of variance to it you go from off-road to Corsa and Corsa turns off ESC as well as uh, it's going to turn off your uh, traction control so got to be careful Mm. Oh my god, that kick in the back. Mm. <laughs> Man, you don't even feel like you're doing what you're doing. My god, <laughs> effortless. How fast is the downshift? Upshift, instantaneous. That's amazing. Let me go back to sport mode. I ain't ready for all that yet because <laughs> it's a little wet and a little cold. Put it back in automatic shifting mode got all your blind spot safety on here you also can have it keep you on your lane you press this button on the side of the turn signal it'll keep you on your lane so while we're on the highway i'm going to dial it back to comfort like who is this meant for who is this suv for this is going to be for the person that loves driving like this if you just wanted a car boat like you wanted like a uh, a gran turismo but needed the practicality of an suv this is going to be for you because it handles just like a car and my mind is blown how they're able to get the suspension these days the suspension tuning the engine tuning on here i'm a, i gotta go back to sport mode man it's too good to be driving in cover mode the responsiveness of this engine is so freaking good man my goodness everything here feels tight no rattle every material in here is really good i did find like one or two hard plastics but who cares, man? Do you see how brilliant this interior looks? It's fan freaking fantastic. And it, man, it doesn't even feel like you're doing the speeds that you're doing. I don't even understand how they're able to do that. But this exhaust, man. This exhaust sounds so good to me. Visibility in here is really good as well. Like they really got the ergonomics down packed with, because this is a compact SUV. The space that you get in here is really good. These seats are amazing. These are some of the best seats I've ever sat in. They are extremely supportive. Probably, if you're a bigger person, you might not like them, but you can also adjust the bolstering. It's kind of hard to find a narrow person that can get the right seat adjustments in these modern vehicles. <laughs> Go back on the highway again. I gotta use these paddle shifters again. They're too good to not use. Mm. <laughs> Dog. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Do they make one with a manual? Can I get one of those, please? Man. I gotta love that, man. <laughs> As far as driver's SUVs, this has got to be the best up there. Cause I, out of all the SUVs I've driven, none of them handle like a car as well as this does. This feels just like a car. And it gets low too. <laughs> Road noise is minimal. Like I said, it's really isolated from the outside. Let me put it in comfort mode to see if that even makes a difference. So it's going to be less aggressive when it comes to the throttle response steering feel it, it's all like the steering feel is all heavy to me like there is no comfort mode steering in here it's just 
heavy steering but not communicative but that chassis is i feel every line every bump every crevice in the road I keep going back to sport mode, man. <laughs> I've been deprived of driving this and this the way it's intended to be drive, driven. Because all week this weather hasn't been the best. Man, it's crazy. How, I don't, it doesn't feel like I'm going what I'm going, man. How is, what kind of wizardry is this? Man, <laughs> hell of me impressed, man. I don't know what they be doing to these chassis engineers nowadays. They are on it. They are on it. I just gotta get one more pull before I let y'all go. Before this weather gets even worse. Because man, I haven't had a chance to drive it like at all really. Just been doing normal commuter driving. But this is the time. The first time I'm able to like stretch his legs out. And man, it is so good. So one more for the road. Shifters are so satisfying. Even though I'm a manual elitist, I like a good paddle shifter. Like those are fun to me now. Man, if you make a great paddle shifter, if it's lightning quick, I love it. It just adds to the driving experience. And of course, it's not a manual, but you can't just write it off just because it's not a manual because it's still so fun to drive. <laughs> Man, what that sound like on the outside? Cause this style is so good. I, I can't even imagine what that sound like from the outside. Mm, that thing just kick you in the back. Good God. All right, one time for the one time. God. <laughs> All right, all right, that's it, guys. I don't want to get in any trouble out here. That is, mm. ah. Once again, I'd like to give a huge shout out to Maserati. Thank you all for letting me borrow the Maserati Gracala Trofeo for the week. It's been a pleasure to drive, and it sucks that the weather's been nasty. I've been seeing a lot of rain. I need to get a second go round with this, or the MC20. Let me get that thing for a week. So, hopefully, you all enjoy. Shed some light on the Maseratis on their entry level SUV. So if you liked it, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, browse the channel, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out.